so it's a really really beautiful morning it's about 6 45 and the reason i'm up so early today is because it's quite exciting i have some guests coming for breakfast so these guests They've come twice before, and so it's become a bit of a tradition for us to have breakfast together. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it, but uh, I've got lots to prepare before they, before they get here. So first job is to build my fire. So here's all the wood that I've cut, prepared. Well, I just got a phone call from the chap saying they've just arrived, so I need to go meet them. I was hoping to get the fire lit before they arrived, but that's not going to happen. It's not a big deal. Such a beautiful morning. <laughs> All right, here they are. Here you guys. Hey. You made it. Hey, Fei Fei. Say hi to Uncle Stas. Look, hi. you're showing him your toy. Oh, wow, oh, look it? at this. Hey, Leon. Leon, say hi to Uncle Stas. What are we having for breakfast? Um, pancake. Do you want me to carry you? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. It's a, it's a quite muddy day. What's right. under all that stick? Yeah, there's lots of sticks around here. Almost there, Fei Fei. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're here now. We're almost there. We made it. You made it. Wow. It looks great, doesn't it? Just quickly going to set up another hammock. So we have somewhere to sit. Yeah. <laughs> Fei Fei, are you going to stay in there? You're going to help me make this fire, Leon? You're going in the hammock? I'm just going to make a fire. You're going to help me? Yeah. So, we've scraped up this little piece of bark. Yeah. And then I'm going to make a little candle. And then we're going to use the candle to make this into a fire. And then we're going to cook our breakfast on the fire. Yeah. Oh, yay! Oh, I want to do a big fire. Yeah, it's going to be a very big fire. All right, Leon. Do you want to put these on top of the flame? Yeah. Yes. That's it. Well done. Very good. Now we just need to wait. So I'm going to make a little bacon rack. Nice. I have to get this thin enough to be able to skewer bacon. It's probably thin enough, isn't it? Yeah. I think my idea is just to like pierce it all with my knife. Look. Yeah, we're gonna get the pancake mixture out soon. Very careful not to <laughs> tear them, but you know we can we can just lift lift this off, you know. Yeah, amazing. Just great. I think people are getting a bit hungry. Time to. Uh, Look at oh, thanks, Jess. Look at the bacon. Yeah, look, look at the this. Bacon. They brought tea. So, uh, time to start making our pancakes. Okay, should we try the first pancake? Yeah. Oh, let's get a big. A bit worried about it sticking to this pan. Handmade handle. <laughs> Great. There we go. First one is away. Yes, we have. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want to chop this Yeah, I'm going to tip this one out. <laughs> the first pancake. First pancake failed. This is attempt number two. I, uh, I bought an emergency second frying pan last night just in case this one didn't work. So I sort of had a suspicion that the pancake mixture would just stick to it. It's not looking. Oh. There's movement. There is movement, but it's stuck here. Okay, we've uh, given up on yeah. my frying pan, because... Is, is it one better? This is the second attempt. It's not bad, actually. Yeah. But it all fell apart when I tried to flip it. Oh, this is so much better. <laughs> I feel a bit sad that my... My frying pan oh, here didn't work cookie. that well. But this one's just absolutely amazing. Is it yummy? Do it, Jess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. I did a 360 yes, too. Yes. That was brilliant. <laughs> you have a go at pouring carefully. Leon, do you want some banana in there? I'll put some dulce in here. Peace. 
Please can Daddy blow it? You gotta blow it too. Ready? Blow. No. Oh, it smells delicious. <laughs> Leon, want a full review of the pancake, please? Is it nice, Leon? Yum. <laughs> pancake Ooh, in the Gruffalo Woods. Probably quite hot, isn't it? You want me to cut it in half? Yes. Of course I can. It's Leon. Is he coming? Another pancake there, ready? Great. Mmm. You're eating a lemon? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think the bacon's ready. Perfect. Love them. Amazing! Mm. Mm. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> the real egg. Wow, look at that. Yum, yum. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> So good. Checking out. Mm. Yeah, we have for real. Oh, Fei Careful. Yeah, come on, Okay, Whoa! You jumped out of the hammock. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, you banged your head a little bit, didn't you? Wasn't that really good? Yeah, what do you say to really Uncle good. Steph? Are you telling me? Alright, I'll just carry you to the edge of the wood. Now you have to say goodbye after that. Goodbye, oh, fire. Bye, fire. Bye, hammer. Bye, sewers. Bye, sticks. Bye, knees. Bye, pine cones. Good, you'd hear something. Bye, grass. Bye, mud. Bye. Bye, trees. Bye. Bye. Have you gonna wait? Nice to hang out and have breakfast with the fam. Now I've just got to tidy up, pack up, and go to work. Okay, so I've just got to sort out this mess. Got to pack down this hammock. Got to sort the fire out. And got to pack down my hammock and tarp that I slept in last night. Before and after. Okay, let's get out of here. That's such good fun. Having the kids out in the forest is just amazing, obviously, but um, it's pretty hectic. And right now, from just preparing everything, trying to get everything done, then also having the kids kind of climb all over me with their muddy boots, I just feel pretty grubby. Even though I had a shower yesterday, quite in need of a shower today, or at least a wash. And actually, I thought today would be a really good opportunity for me to answer probably my most asked question. It's always really important to uh, put everything back in its rightful place. Otherwise things get pretty chaotic pretty quickly. So, uh, question I get asked more than any other question is the question about washing. Like, where do I wash? And then probably the second most asked question is, uh, where do I wash my clothes? <sighs> okay, so today is laundry day. This is my bag of uh, dirty washing. And uh, yeah, basically I just wash my clothes at Laundrette. Definitely, definitely, definitely. One of the best things you can do to keep yourself clean is to keep your clothes clean. Obviously every day I just put a fresh set of clothes on and uh, that, that's like over half of the problem solved already. So this is where I do my washing. It's a cafe Laundrette called At The Well in Bristol and it's by far the best laundrette I've ever, ever used. Brilliant. All right, just off to see my friend Tom now. But yeah, that cafe laundrette is absolutely amazing because I can show up with all my dirty washing put it on and then just sit down with a nice coffee, get really fast 4G there and I can just, you know, plug in and, and work. And even if it wasn't a laundrette, it would be a really good coffee shop. 
in terms of washing myself, there actually isn't really a straightforward answer. I think the idea originally was to sign up for a gym membership or something like that, but I've not had to do that yet. I think what I've learned is that you can always find somewhere to wash. It's not that difficult. You just have to be a bit creative and a bit imaginative with, uh, with where that might be. One place I sometimes shower is at motorway service stations. Sometimes I just shower at friends' houses. Sometimes I just go wild swimming. But to be honest, a lot of the time I just find a, a loo or a restroom if you're American and I just splash my face, change into a fresh set of clothes and occasionally have a cheeky little shave. And you don't necessarily need a shower. You don't necessarily need water to be constantly falling on you. Last October I went to Africa. My uncle lives there and his shower, he doesn't have running water. And so the shower there was literally just a bucket and then you'd get a bowl and you just splash it on you. And it was so effective. And I remember just being like, this is better than in a lot of places I've lived. This is better than the shower I had there. The important thing is just keeping clean. And so how you keep clean, it's kind of up for grabs really. This is where I'm meeting Tom. Beetroot Cafe. Hey Tom. I was gonna ask you to bring this and I completely forgot. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. I am um, a lot better. Yeah, the whole the, the family can use power spires after a while. Try to hoon and shit. So good. These are hot. I went to the dentist yesterday. I know. Um, Thank you very much. Cheers. See you later. I have my own business. I make, I make animations, but this is, this is actually um, a vlog that I've just started. <laughs> Well, I was just going to say, I'd love to do some catering for like production, sort of that sort of thing. So yeah, if you yeah. do know anyone that wants that sort of thing, that's All right. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. All right, well, have a Thank you. Right, yeah, cheers, bye. Great. So where, where are you off to? Uh, back to the laundrette. At the well? Yeah, at the well, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That was good. I filmed that whole thing. <laughs> with the, with the yeah. No, you didn't. I did. I was filming. I thought it was all like, um, oh, you sneaky <laughs> badger. All right, which way are you going? This way. Up here, oh, me yeah. too. Tom, it's been great. <laughs> Bye, Tom. <laughs> Drying. Washing's done. Got a few other things in there as well. I feel like I spend every single vlog just sweating my face off. <sighs> so I'm off to North Wales to uh, Snowdonia National Park because my friend Lizzie invited me to do the world's fastest zip wire, which is in a place called Beveth. Be I can't say it. Bethesda. Bethesda. Yeah, so that's in Snowdonia. Snowdonia is where Mount Snowdon is, which is the highest peak in Wales and the second highest peak in the British Isles. So the plan is to drive up now and hopefully do a bit of work on my way. So I just remembered that I, I've left my bike over the other side of the city. So uh, I'm gonna need that. Oh, where is my bike? There's my bike. Bike. Let's go. Next stop, Snowdonia. Okay, so I made it to Snowdonia. Obviously it's pitch dark, so can't really see that much, but I can see the vague silhouette of a few mountains and it looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to see what it looks like in the morning. Pretty great. 